When humans started going into space, we brought along our stuff, from ancient artifacts to food. Here are five of the weirdest things we've sent off planet. I'm Sophie, and welcome to The Countdown. Eating in space is tricky. Without gravity, spilled liquids and crumbs can float around the ship, gumming up the controls and other instruments. So early batches of space food were freeze-dried or packed into tubes or coated with fats. In 1965, faced with these less than appetizing food options, astronaut John Young smuggled an unauthorized object aboard his three-day Gemini mission a corned beef sandwich from his favorite deli. Unfortunately, the sandwich produced a lot of crumbs, and Young had to put it away after just one bite. The prank didn't derail the mission, but it did get NASA in trouble with Congress. Afterwards, they tightened the rules against unapproved food. 2007 marked the 30th anniversary of the Star Wars franchise. That same year, the Discovery Space Shuttle carried a very special cargo into orbit, the lightsaber of Luke Skywalker himself. The prop lightsaber handle traveled from California to Texas to Florida. It was escorted by fans dressed as various Star Wars characters. Finally, it was safely stowed in a locker on the Discovery Shuttle. As part of mission STS-120, the lightsaber orbited Earth for 14 days before returning to the possession of Lucasfilm. In 1607, a group of settlers founded Jamestown, the first permanent English colony on American soil. Little did they know, a piece of their history was destined to travel farther than they ever dreamed. In 2006, an archaeological dig on Jamestown Island unearthed a metal cargo tag inscribed with the words, Jamestown. A year later, 400 years after the settlement was established, this memento flew all the way to the International Space Station and back as part of mission STS-117. After its journey, the shipping tag returned to a museum in historic Jamestown. In space, you don't need money, but items that have been to space and back increase in value, which is why astronaut Gus Grissom brought 50 dimes, along with a few other keepsakes, when he piloted the spacecraft Liberty Bell 7 in 1961. After a 15-minute flight, Grissom and his dimes landed safely in the Atlantic Ocean. But that's when a hatch blew off and the Liberty Bell began to flood. Grissom barely escaped as his craft and the souvenirs within sank to the bottom of the sea. However, 30 years later, a salvager brought the Liberty Bell back up and recovered the dimes. They're now on display at the Kansas Cosmosphere and Space Center. The game of golf first traveled off the planet in 1971. That's when the Apollo 14 mission landed on the moon, carrying three astronauts, a golf club, and some golf balls. After finishing the science portion of the mission, Commander Alan Shepard had a bit of fun. He hit one golf ball into a crater, and he sent a second ball soaring for what Shepard described as miles and miles and miles. Recently, physicist Ethan Siegel tested Shepard's claim. He calculated that on the moon, you could hit a golf ball for 2.5 miles and that it would stay airborne for 70 seconds. I'm Sophie Bushwick, and that's your countdown. And it's also my final countdown. Thank you so much for watching, but I've got a new job, so I'll have to be signing off. In three, two, one.